assalamu alaikum and good morning to everyone today we'll study about effect of drug on blood pressure and heart rate in a dog i am sheikh abu sufyan welcome you to my youtube channel pharma learning forever at the end of this e learning session you are able to discuss drug receptor binding and their effect on the blood pressure and heart rate perform simulation experiment by using experimental pharmacology software that is xpharm so let's start with the effect of drug on heart rate and the blood pressure so first drug that we will study today it is epinephrine so epinephrine it stimulate the alpha receptor and the beta receptor both alpha and beta receptor they are adrenergic in nature and due to stimulation of the adrenergic receptor alpha and beta it increases the blood pressure which is followed by short fall in the blood pressure so you can see here there is increase in the blood pressure at the initial phase followed by there is short fall in the blood pressure since there is both increase and decrease in blood pressure which is seen with epinephrine this type of response it is called as the biphasic response so epinephrine it causes both increase in the blood pressure and then fall in the blood pressure so it is called as biphasic response second drug it is the norepinephrine so norepinephrine it act on alpha receptor and beta 1 receptor so basically it stimulate the alpha and beta 1 receptor and stimulation of alpha and beta 1 receptor it causes increase in the blood pressure but if you compare this increase in the blood pressure as compared to epinephrine non epinephrine causes more increase in the blood pressure third drug it is the isoprenaline so isoprenaline it is a non selective beta adrenergic receptor agonist so it causes uh, the non selective action on beta adrenergic receptor so non selective means it may act on beta 1 or beta 2 as well so there is no something like it it is only acting on the beta 1 receptor or it is only acting on the beta 2 receptor so it is non selective in nature so it act on both beta adrenergic receptor and it causes increase in systolic blood pressure and decrease in diastolic blood pressure although it causes increase in systolic blood pressure and decrease in a diastolic blood pressure but overall effect if you look at it produces decrease in the bp so overall effect in case of isoprenaline it is a decrease in the blood pressure fourth drug it is the acetylcholine acetylcholine it is a muscar act on the muscarinic receptor and m3 receptor are specially present in the heart because there are three types of muscarinic receptor m1 m2 and m3 out of this m3 are present in the heart and acetylcholine act on the m3 receptor and it produces sharp fall in a blood pressure now with the help of software let's study the effect of epinephrine norepinephrine isoprenaline and acetylcholine so let's go to the software so i'm opening the software page just a minute yes so this is the front of page of the x pharma series software so once we log in it will show the index for different experiment since we have to study the experiment related to the blood pressure so let's search here where where is that experiment see the effect of drug on the dog blood pressure and heart rate so once i click it it will open this page i will click next and to start the experiment and i will click here so it will open this page over here so now you can see on the right side this scale it indicate the mean blood pressure mm of mercury so mean blood pressure means you can see the some drug may having different effect on systolic and diastolic blood pressure but, but whatever effect is here it is going to show the mean blood pressure okay and this on left hand side scale it indicate the heart rate so let's add our first drug that we have studied today that is epinephrine and let's see the effect of the epinephrine so i have injected the epinephrine so now you can see this is the baseline and this reading or this graph goes up so that clearly indicate that epinephrine it increases the blood pressure okay but at the end if you look at so if the initial phase if there is increase in the blood pressure but at the end there will be decrease in the blood pressure there is short fall in the blood pressure so this indicate a biphasic response of the epinephrine okay second drug that we have to study it is the norepinephrine 
I am injecting the norepinephrine. Once I inject, now you can see it also produces the increase in the blood pressure. But now if you compare this increase in the blood pressure with epinephrine, you can clearly see uh, norepinephrine, it causes more increase in the blood pressure. Now here it go up to 160 of the mercury. Whereas in case of epinephrine, it goes only up to 120 uh, and it is just between 120 to 140. So norepinephrine, uh, based on your observation, you can say that the increase in the blood pressure which is produced by norepinephrine, it is more as compared to the epinephrine. Let's see the effect of another drug that is isoprenaline. So isoprenaline, it is the non-selective uh, beta receptor agonist. Let's inject it. Now let's see what is happening over here. So uh, we have studied in case of the slide, isoprenaline it causes uh, increase uh, in the systolic blood pressure and decrease in the diastolic blood pressure. But since this is the mean blood pressure, so overall effect if you look at it produces the decrease in the blood pressure. Okay. So there will you can see here the, the fall in a systolic diastolic blood pressure up to 40 mm of the mercury. So that is happened with the isoprenaline. Let's work, uh, give another drug that is acetylcholine. So acetylcholine is act on the muscarinic receptor and it produces decrease in a blood pressure. So now I have injected acetylcholine and after injection of the acetylcholine, now you see the response, it produces the decrease in the blood pressure. So to summarize, epinephrine, it increases the blood pressure, norepinephrine, it increases in the blood pressure and the increase here, it is more as compared to epinephrine. Isoprenaline it decreases the blood pressure due to its effect on the beta receptor and acetylcholine it decreases the blood pressure due to its effect on the muscarinic receptor. Okay, So these four drugs we have studied um, in first slide. Let's study about next four drugs. Next drug it is the histamine and we know that histamine act on different type of histaminergic receptor. So basically it is going to act on H1 and H2 receptor. So action on the H1 receptor, it lead to short life, for, for short life. So action on the H1 receptor, it lead to short life decrease in the blood pressure. Whereas action on the H2 receptor, it lead to fall in the blood pressure, which having slower onset and a longer duration. So at once, if you look at the effect of the histamine, so it produces the both decrease in the blood pressure in both the cases. Action on H1, it also produces decrease in the blood pressure. And action on H2 receptor also produces decrease in the blood pressure. So if you want to see that on the scale of the mm of mercury or mean mm of mercury, you may see there is fall in the blood pressure after injection of the histamine to the dog. Then in case of the ephedrine, ephedrine it stimulates alpha receptor and also beta receptor. So it having the action which is similar to the epinephrine and due to stimulation of alpha and beta receptor, Obviously, in case of epinephrine, there was increase in the blood pressure. Likewise, here also it produces increase in the blood pressure and the heart rate. So there will be both positive chronotropic and both positive inotropic effect in case of the ephedrine. Next one, it is the fentolamine. So fentolamine, it, pro it is basically alpha blocker. And we have seen here in case of epinephrine, ephedrine and norepinephrine, stimulation of alpha receptor, it increases the blood pressure. Now since fentolamine it block the alpha receptor, obviously it is going to reduce the blood pressure. So in presence of fentolamine, there is reduction in the blood pressure. Last drug it is the propranolol. So propranolol it is basically a beta blocker and the blockage of the beta receptor, it is going to reduce both blood pressure and the heart rate. So let's see their effect on the, uh, by using the software. Again, uh, I am coming over here. I have selected the first drug that is the histamine. So we are continuing this experiment. So histamine we have seen it act on H1 and H2 receptor. And in the slide we have seen that action on the H1 receptor produces short life fall in the blood pressure. H2 receptor it also produces fall in the blood pressure. So after clicking this inject drug, let's see their effect in the observation table. So now here after administration of histamine, you can see there is fall in a blood pressure. So overall effect it is in a fall in the blood pressure. Let's inject another drug that is ephedrine. So ephedrine it, we have seen that it act on alpha and beta receptor and it produces their stimulation. And stimulation of alpha and beta receptor it is going to produce similar effect like epinephrine and norepinephrine. That will be increase in a blood pressure. So let's inject ephedrine. I am clicking this. 
So now you can see the effect of the ephedrine, it increases the blood pressure. And this increase in the blood pressure, it is much more even as compared to epinephrine, non-epinephrine. Okay? So the blood pressure which is increased by the ephedrine, it is very high as compared to which is increased by the epinephrine and norepinephrine. Okay? Last drug that is, um, uh, now we will also see uh, one antagonist that is fentolamine. So fentolamine we have seen it is the alpha blocker. Let's inject it. So I have clicked inject button and now you can see since it is the alpha blocker, it will block alpha receptor and due to blockage of the alpha receptor, it produces decrease in the blood pressure. Okay? Then we have also injected uh, the drug that was called as that is called as propranolol. So propranolol it is a beta blocker. So injection of the beta blocker it also decreases the blood pressure. Okay. So to conclude, overall epinephrine, norepinephrine, and ephedrine it causes increase in the blood pressure. Whereas isoprenaline, acetylcholine, histamine, pentolamine, and propranolol it produces decrease in the blood pressure. So this is about the individual effect of the drug. Okay. Now let's see how it produces the effect if same drug it is given in the combination. Okay. So if the drugs are given in the combination, then let's see how it produces the effect. <clears throat> so now to study the combination effect. So we are following this process. So step for doing the curve. Inject first we are going to inject 3 microgram per ml of the adrenaline then we are going to inject 3 microgram per ml of the noradrenaline. So both adrenaline and noradrenaline these are uh, they produce a stimulation of alpha and beta receptor. Then we are going to add fentolamine which is the alpha 1 receptor alpha receptor blocker and after addition of fentolamine we are going to add noradrenaline and adrenaline. So let's see what happened after addition of the fentolamine. So here you will see two type of responses. So response of adrenaline and noradrenaline before addition of fentolamine and response of adrenaline and noradrenaline after addition of the fentolamine. So let's see. So first inject the epinephrine. So injection of the epinephrine it increases the blood pressure as usual. Now I am administrating, administering norepinephrine. So administration of the norepinephrine it increases the blood pressure. So this increase is more even as compared to um, the response of the epinephrine. Now I am administering fentolamine which is alpha receptor blocker. Let's see their effect. So after administration of fentolamine obviously it is going to decrease in the blood pressure. Now I have added fentolamine and in presence of fentolamine let's see what happened to the response of noradrenaline. Actually noradrenaline it's supposed to increase the blood pressure. But after addition of fentolamine, since it block alpha receptor. Now since fentolamine has blocked alpha receptor, so although you added noradrenaline, but the alpha receptor are not going to stimulate. Why they are not going to stimulate? Because it is blocked by the fentolamine. So let's see the effect. Now fentolamine, we have already taken the response. Now in presence of fentolamine, let's see the effect of the norepinephrine. So I have injected norepinephrine. You can see there is no effect. Because the effect of norepinephrine or noradrenaline, it is neutralized in presence of fentolamine. So you can see the baseline effect it is seen after addition of the noradrenaline. Whereas in case of adrenaline or addition of the adrenaline or that is also called as the epinephrine, let's see the effect. So epinephrine you can see after addition of epinephrine, it actually produces decrease in the blood pressure. Why? Because there are there is blockage of alpha receptor by fentolamine okay so this is what happen if you use antagonist and if you administer agonist in presence of antagonist and this experiment it show that antagonist it uh, it occupied the receptor and it does not allow agonist to bind to the to that particular receptor okay so as long as fentolamine it's bind to the receptor now these adrenaline and noradrenaline is not going to bind to the alpha receptor and that is the reason in case of noradrenaline it actually produces a very high increase in blood pressure but it gives no response. Whereas adrenaline it actually produces fall in the blood pressure in presence of the fentolamine. So this is not the effect of adrenaline this is fall this fall it is due to the presence of fentolamine. I hope it is clear to you okay. Now likewise we will also see one more experiment of combination effect. 
so in this uh, experiment we will study about acetylcholine so acetylcholine it is act on muscarinic receptor actually it stimulate muscarinic receptor and atropine it is actually antagonist of the acetylcholine so the first we will see the effect of acetylcholine in in absence of atropine and next effect it is in presence of atropine okay so in this experiment first we are going to inject 5 microgram per ml of acetylcholine we will see its effect then we are going to inject 200 2000 microgram per ml of atropine okay and then we are going to again inject 5 microgram per ml of acetylcholine and 150 microgram per ml of acetylcholine so let's first inject acetylcholine so when acetylcholine it is injected as usual it should decrease in the blood pressure because on the action of acetylcholine on heart it produces decrease in the blood pressure okay now i am administrating the atropine so atropine let's inject the drug so you can see after administration of the atropine there is only baseline is there why there is baseline because atropine it is antagonist it does not have their own activity or it does not have their intrinsic activity okay now in presence of atropine let's add acetylcholine so now in presence of atropine when we have added acetylcholine you can see here atropine it antagonizes the response of acetylcholine so actually this is the response of acetylcholine so this response has been antagonized by the atropine okay so atropine um, it, produ it produces decrease in the effect of the acetylcholine so the fall in the blood pressure it is reduced when you inject acetylcholine in presence of atropine okay so this is so this is all about today's experiment so to summarize uh, overall we have seen the effect of different drugs on the heart so where we have studied the adrenergic receptor agonists like we have seen epinephrine norepinephrine and ephedrine then we have studied alpha blocker like fentolamine which decreases the blood pressure beta blocker propranolol which decreases the blood pressure okay then we also studied the isoprenaline which act uh, which is agonistic of both alpha and uh, beta receptor but their overall action it is decrease in the blood pressure and we also studied the combination of effect of different drugs on the heart heart or on the dog heart okay and we have seen their effect on the blood pressure so i have referred this software experimental pharmacology x farm software uh, for the demonstration i acknowledge this uh, the very nice information given on this software so thank you very much for attending my session for more such learning subscribe to my channel